Hey everyone, it's Emily from Life Sew Savory and today we're going to do another fun sewing project. I'm going to be sewing, at least as far as I can get, a pair of these sweatshorts for my son. He's been wearing these at least weekly and I noticed last week that they're getting a little bit small, but of course because they're so stretchy and comfortable, he can just keep wearing them until I physically say, okay, you're done, no more. I'm making you a new pair. So this is the week that I'm making him a new pair so we can get rid of these. But he was like, mom, they're so comfortable. So we're gonna make another pair. I know I'm hopping on a little bit early today, but I have something that I need to wrap up and finish in about um, at about 1.30 my time. So I wanted to give myself a couple extra minutes on the front end. So I know it might take people a few minutes to hop on, but I'm here, I'm glad you're here and we're gonna get started so let me know what you're up to today if you're sewing anything fun have you sewn a pair of these sweatshorts they're super simple um they just have pockets which we're gonna sew today this one i put on a faux fly but my son has requested no faux fly stitching and just a plain front so we're gonna do that the elastic waistband and these are made out of french terry and i'm going to do the same for the next pair but they're a slightly thinner um, softer French terry. So hopefully he likes it, but they have some pretty good drapes. So I'm excited. And, um, my oldest wore these and now my middle son is wearing these and now they are time to be passed on to someone else. No one in our house fits into them anymore. They are too small. So we're going to be moving forward. So let me show you what I have cut out and then we'll go ahead and get sewing. Like I said, I am a little bit on time crunch today, so I want to be able to finish this up and then um, just get started. So I already uh, cut my elastic to size. I've already created the waistband, and I made a little mistake and didn't cut this quite wide enough, but it's stretchy, so I'm just going to still go with it and stretch my elastic, but this is a major oops, and I had no more fabric. So Oops, hopefully it stretches on. If not, I will be making, cutting it off and adding a second waistband of a contrasting fabric. Maybe I should already do that. I probably won't even get to the waistband today. So maybe I'll just go back and cut a wider waistband out of something else. But okay, we've got a, two pocket pouches. We have two pockets. We have two short fronts. And I can tell her the front because it has this angled um, side for the pockets to go on. And then I have two short backs. Okay. So let me just give you a close up of this fabric and show you what it's looking like. It's so soft and such a fun fabric. So the front is a very wrinkly gray fabric. And then the back has the loops, um, like a French terry. And hopefully this will uh, not be super wrinkly, but it's not looking really good on that. All right, we're going to start with the pockets and the front and get those sewed in. So I'm going to put the two front pieces right side together, and I'm going to sew that center seam right down the middle. Okay. And then from there, we will put in the pockets and the pocket pouches and get sewing. So make sure I have the right presser foot. Like all of my free patterns, a 3 8 inch seam allowance is included. And I'm gonna sew that on my serger here. And I'm not really making any adjustments. I will see on this one if the seam is looking at all stretched out, we'll adjust the differential feed just slightly for the next seam because we don't want these stretched out. And if you're top stitching, I like to then top stitch after each seam rather than waiting till later. So this is laying pretty flat. I don't think we need to adjust the differential feed and then just check that your needles and everything are looking good on the front side. So before you keep going. And if you're really unsure, make sure you test it on a scrap piece before you just whip out and sew like I did. But I was pretty confident I was already sewing on this today. So I knew that it was um, in pretty good shape. All right, so now I'm gonna attach a pocket along the angled edge, outside edge of the shorts. And we're gonna do that on the right and the left side. 
if you're just joining, we are jumping right into the project today, and I'm sewing um, some sweatshirt, sweatshirt fleece shorts. I don't know what to call them. Sweat shorts, sweatshirt shorts. They're really made from French terry and not sweatshirt fabric at all, but it's they could be made from sweatshirt fabric and they were designed for that kind of thing. All right, there's one pocket attached. I'm gonna do the other one before I go over to the cover stitch here and top stitch both of those pockets to the back side. But for now, we're going to line up the second angled side. I have included the link to the free pattern right here, okay, in the ticker that's going across and then also in the pattern in the description of this um, video on should be on both Facebook and YouTube. You should be able to see that and um, click through it if you're looking for this. So I think this pattern is in sizes two through 18. So I am making the size 14 for my um, almost 13 year old. I'm hoping they'll just be slightly big so he can wear them for a while rather than the small ones that we've been wearing um, and now have bigger ones. So also, if you're just joining, I can just go ahead and show you. This is what we're making. So cute sweatshirt shorts with pockets. And um, this one I did sew the faux fly stitching, but my son has asked no faux fly stitching on this one and just um, plain front. So we're going to give him plain front sweatshirts and just make them really simple. Okay. So for the top stitching of the pocket, I'm going to move over here to the cover stitch. I have two needles threaded and gray thread in it. So we can go ahead and we're just going to fold the pocket to the back side. And then I'm going to um, top stitch along there. And then we'll sew the pocket pouch in place. Okay, you could press this first, but with knit fabric, I often just like to top stitch it, make sure the um, foot is down. Yeah, Bermuda shorts. Um, that's right, Maria. It's just, it's they're made to be made out of like sweatpants fabric, not jeans, not um, um, like khakis. These are designed to be from a knit fabric, like a sweatshirt fleece. Or, um, so it's kind of like a sport short, but not made from like sports fabric. So, um, oh, wrong presser foot. So if you have boys, you probably know what I'm talking about because your son has probably wanted some of these up oh, and we have to rethread. Okay. So I designed these several years ago. And like I said, my oldest wore, um, this same pair that I just showed you for like two years, then we passed it on to his brother and he was wearing them last week. And I said, oh, buddy, those are getting a little small. And he's like, but I love these shorts. So that's why I put on my list this week to sew him another pair so that I can then take these out of his drawer and get rid of them, pass them on. I always feel bad if I don't have replacement getting rid of something um, if I don't have a direct thing to pass it on. So we are getting a replacement so that we can get rid of the old pair. And actually he was gonna give them up, but I said, well, let's wash them so that when we pass them on, they're clean. Okay, re-threaded, back in action. I'm just top stitching the pocket to the back side of the shorts so that we have that nice clean pocket line along there. And this is a narrow two thread top stitch on my cover stitch. This machine can do two or three thread top stitch. You can also do actually a one thread chain stitch, but I'm not going to do that for top stitching. And you can do the two needles close to each other or the two needles farther apart. And I have the ones close to each other, which is why I would call this a two thread narrow top stitch. Okay, so let me just show you what that looks like. So can you see, get it to focus on there. Okay, so there's the two threads 
and there's the back with the chain stitch still maintaining that stretch which is awesome for this sort of fabric you can also top stitch with a double needle on your sewing machine if you don't have a cover stitch machine or even if you don't want to bother with a double needle you literally could just do a zigzag or any stretch stitch just so that this pocket still does have a little bit of stretch and a little bit of give so we're not popping or breaking any of those seams but yet yeah, gives it that nice finished look along there okay so there's the second pocket all right so back to the pocket pouches which is what i'm going to grab now okay two pocket pouches i'm going to take the ticker off so that it gives me a little more space here to work and to show you what i'm talking about not a lot of room i decided just to keep it simple and go with a single camera today so hopefully you can see mostly on here what that looks like. So here is the right side of the pocket is up and then the wrong sides of the shorts and the um, pocket is there. So now we're gonna take the pocket pouch and match the corresponding straight lines, which is along the top and along the side this should fill in that edge see how it was angled there and then we fill in the edge of the shorts and then this is the curved edge should match pretty well here for the pocket pouch so we're going to go ahead and sew that curved pocket pouch edge now and then we will be able to incorporate the other edges in the side seam and then when we sew the waistband on the rest of this okay hi phyllis all right so there's the pocket and then when we do sew the side seam we'll make sure we sew all three layers here and when we sew the top we'll be sewing all the three layers there and then you can see here but this the, this pocket pouch extends slightly and that fills in that corner gap of the side of the shorts. And then we have this nice angled side pocket, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that curved seam of the pocket pouch. Some people like to sew the two layers of the pocket together before they sew it to the shorts. I usually sew, if it's this kind of pocket, I'll sew the pocket and I'll top stitch without this other layer that I have to keep out of the way. But there are probably times that occasionally I would sew this pouch to the pocket first and then later come back and sew it to the shorts and top stitch it. Okay, so now we have this folded back and I'm gonna go ahead and put one clip here on the side seam to hold that layer together. And then I'm also gonna put one or two clips along the top here, just to hold it all together while before we're sewing it, okay? So I'm gonna put one clip right here on this edge and then one clip right here. And that will be, those two things will get sewn and then hold the pocket in place, okay? And then again, we have this little divot right here, which is um, filling in that side. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing on the second pouch. So I'm gonna lay it out best I can. And then with the right sides together, you're gonna line up the curved side of the pouch. Okay, and then that it should line up pretty well. This part overhangs. And then just put a couple of clips in here to hold this while I sew around this curve. Hi, Nancy. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing and pin it. So these shorts come together so quick and easy. If you already have them cut out, I don't think it would take you long to sew at all. And they're a super comfy short. Like I said, I'm literally ripping these away from my 
12 year old because I saw him wearing them last week and I said, they are getting a little bit small, kind of a lot of bit small. <laughs> and it is time to say goodbye to them, but they still have quite a lot of wear left in them. So I will definitely be passing them on to someone else who can get some more use out of them because they're not ready for the reg bin yet. All right, so just like before, I'm gonna put a couple of clips here along the top edge so that when we get that into the um, waistband, and then I'm gonna put another clip here on the side so that this lays really nicely, and then we'll, we will sew that into the side seam, and we have the little notch out there on there. So now we have Oh my goodness, this fabric is so wrinkly. Okay, so we have the start of the sweatshirts. These are definitely gonna be looser, which is great and hopefully fit for a while. So before we sew the side seams, I'm gonna sew the back curved seam. So with right sides together, I'm gonna place those seams here and sew that back seam. I said this at the very beginning. Kids do love pockets, Nancy. Absolutely. I said at the beginning that I made a mistake when I was cutting my waistband, and I have no idea what happened. Um, but I thought I had it all lined up on my rotary cutter, and then I went sliced across, and then instead of three and three quarters, it was literally three inches wide. So it's a little bit narrow for me to put in my one and a half inch elastic. Um, but as I was showing you this, my model pair, I was realizing, oh, this one, I did a different color, a coordinating waistband and it looks great. So I'm going to go through my stash and find something that goes with this gray, which should be easy, gray, is simple, and probably cut out a contrasting waistband so that I can recut it. I have no more of this gray fabric. I'm down to the scraps. Um, and by scraps, I mean like teeny, teeny scraps but we're gonna go with this. So this is gonna be way bigger for a couple of reasons. One being this is a thinner fabric and thinner fabric also always has um, a bit more drape to it. So it's gonna look bigger. And then also it's a bigger size. So hopefully my son can get a lot of wear out of this, but I probably also will have him try this on before I sew on the waistband, just in case I need to adjust the rise. And by that, I mean how high it comes up on his stomach in case this bigger size is too high a rise. We don't want like saggy. So that's always a good time to try on um, before you sew on the waistband is once you get it all put together, then sew on and then you can adjust, cut a little bit lower in the front and the back if you need it rather than just press onward, okay? And then I will also probably check, um, I'll probably just hem it, because they can just be a little bit longer. Okay, we're gonna sew up one of the side seams here. And when I get to the bottom of the pocket, I do wanna make sure that I'm including all those layers of the pocket in the side seam. So that's right here. And there's a little portion, maybe like an inch and a half, that um, I have four layers of fabric. So two layers of pocket and two layers of the shorts. And you just want to make sure that you catch all those layers for however long that part of the fabric is, because that will keep the pocket from having any holes and actually be a functioning pocket a pocket with holes is not a pocket at all. All right, again, this I've linked in the description of this video, the free sewing pattern for these shorts. They come in sizes two through 16, which is really a waist size, like 19 inches to like 31 inches. But depending on the fabric, they are stretchy. And so you have definitely a little bit of play here with the sizes, if especially if your child is tall and thin, you can, um, you know, get longer wear because you can just lengthen them easily. And if not, you can make one of the larger sizes, whatever size fits the waist. 
and then go from there. So um, lots of wear, like I said, my 12 year old's wearing these, but I think, but my 14 year old could also still fit in this pattern. So I do love sewing for both of them. And I was almost yesterday gonna cut out two pairs. And then I realized my 14 year old doesn't really need more shorts. So I'd hate to make him something in a size and then it not get worn. Especially if I didn't really have the fabric, I was gonna have to go buy the fabric for it. So I decided to just start with one pair. And if he asks, maybe I'll come back and sew him another one. But for now, we're just sewing the one. All right, so let's turn this right side out now and take a look at how these are coming together. We still have that inseam to sew, but at this point we should be able to check out the pockets. Okay, that is looking super cute. Nice big pocket pouch there that you can put your hand in. Okay, same on the other side. And like I said, I'm not going to be adding the stitching detail on the front because my son has asked not to, whereas on this one, I did put sort of the faux fly look. These are both French terry, which means they're flat on the top and then the hook and loop on the back. But this is a thicker French terry, and this one is actually a really thin fabric, which is why it looks so wrinkly. Apparently, it's a wrinkly fabric as well. So mm, that's not my favorite. Okay, so we are going to sew the inseam here. And then we'll hem it up. I got to keep check of the time. Um, my oldest is taking finals today. And he's here, and he has, but he has to go back to school for a second final. So I need to, yeah, I took a test this morning. I brought him home, and then he's got to go back. So that's what I got to keep my eye on the time for. All right, so I'll sew up this inseam. Then we'll hem these two, and you can get a look. And then I'll post a photo of the finished, but of course it just looks like the other shorts I just sewed you. And the waistband for these is quite simple. We just sew the fabric on, create a casing, thread the elastic through, and close the hole. So not no special techniques or anything with the elastic. It's quite simple. And I did top stitch, so I'll just show you that really quickly. On So I'm using one and a half inch elastic, which gives just a little bit thicker waistband, which I love. And then um, I did run two, I don't know if you can see on the black. Oh, you can see on this side because I used orange bread. Two top stitching, one a quarter inch from the top and one a quarter inch from the bottom after I had threaded the elastic. And then this one I actually did add drawstring holes. So can you see that? So just tiny buttonholes. And then I threaded an elastic all the way around and it goes in between the two top stitching in that casing. So if you want to add that, it's obviously long been ripped out. So my kids didn't love it, but you can add a drawstring if you want. And it is functioning because it goes all the way around the elastic and you just do two little um, buttonholes on the casing before you sew that in place. Okay, let's turn this right side out. Take a look. Looking cute. Okay, look at that. Looks really simple. These are just going to be play wear and it's coming together really easy. Um, I'm going to now hem. That is true with the boys, um, but I think it should be fine for these because they're loose. So definitely want to maintain modesty and not um, have anything showing that shouldn't be. But um, with how loose these are and you're going to wear your underwear under them, they should be just fine. No different than thin shorts, sport shorts, which my boys live in. All right, so I'm turning up about a three quarter inch seam and we're sewing with the double needle top stitch on the cover stitch. 
And yes, I could pin this all the way along, but I just like to turn it up as I go. You could be more official. And then when I get around, I'm going to overlap a little bit. And then I have a pin here. I need to grab a pin. Okay. And we'll finish off. So this is sewing with the cover stitch in the round because we started and stopped. And then I just quickly pull the threads to the back so I can tie them off. All right, and then technically, if you overlap, you're supposed to be able to just um, cut off your threads, but I like pulling the back, just give it a little knot, and then they're good to go. I feel like I did miss just a tiny section there, so I'll have to go back and catch that, but there's a nice hem on the bottom of one leg, and now we'll do the other. Okay, I like to start on the inseam. We have two seams on these shorts, an inseam and an outer seam, and I like to start on the inseam um, with my hem so that the overlap is on the inside leg and not quite as noticeable. Finish going around here. And then I'll have to figure out the waistband. Not, I was hoping to get it all done, but I just don't want to have the have it squeezed in there and have that be a problem. Remember, depending on um, where you're watching, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see the YouTube comments. If you're watching this on Facebook, you'll see the Facebook comments, but someone may be commenting that you might not be seeing, um, and I can see both. So if I am responding to a question and you're like, what is she talking about? It may be on the opposite platform that you are watching, and that's why you're not seeing the same comments that I'm seeing. Just a note on there. All right. So looking really good. Sweet. Those are going to be some nice looking shorts. And we will grab a waistband on there to pull it all together. So like I said, I cut this waistband, but it actually, I don't know what happened. I did not measure twice, cut once. For sure. I just cut once and it's not wide enough. So I want to use this one and a half inch elastic, but you can see if I fold this in half to sew it, plus I need a seam allowance. There's no, there's no seam allowance. There's nothing left. So I could stretch it in, but I think I'm just going to really try to actually cut a different waistband and go from there. So anyway, that's where we're going to stop today. Um, we were sewing these, again, sewing these cute sweat shorts. You could do more top stitching. So this one, I actually used the cover stitch and top stitch the side seams, the center seam. And I might do that actually before I add the waistband and then the hem. And this one had a little bit more contrasting um, threading, which made it really cute. And then the waistband on there. So grab the free pattern, sew some up in some French terry or some sweatshirt fleece. They are so comfortable. My boys love them. That pair has been worn for like four years between two boys. And now I'm prying it out of one of their hands to give it in the giveaway box because they love it so much. So <laughs> thank you for joining me. I should be back next week. I'm trying to think what's on the schedule. School's wrapping up. So my schedule is a little bit more erratic um, as my kids finish. Actually next week, no, I will not. I will be helping out with field day at my daughter's school. So I will not be here, but should be back in two weeks with another fun summary. We're into full on summer sewing project. And I can't wait to see what you are making. Make sure you're sharing in the Facebook group or tag me on Facebook or any social media. I love to see what you're up to. 
So have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.